Hi, I'm here with today's Bible reading for February 7th, 2015. We're going to begin with Matthew chapter 25, verses 1 through verse 30. Reading in the New King James Version. The Parable of the Wise and Foolish Virgins. And then it'll be the Parable of the Talents. And that's where we'll stop with Matthew. Okay. Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you. But go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Watch, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. Now the parable of the talents. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country who said to his own servants and delivered his goods to them, and to one he gave five talents, to another two and to another one, to each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on a journey. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded it with them and made another five talents. And likewise, who had received two gained two more also. But he who had received one went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered to me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also, who had received two talents, came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you had not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant. You knew that I reap where I have not sown, and gather that I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers, and at my coming I would have received back my own with interest. Therefore take the talent from him, and give it to him who has ten talents. For to everyone who has more will be given, and he will have abundance, but from him who does not have, even what he has will be taken away and cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness. 
There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And that's where we'll stop with Matthew. Now we'll be going to Psalm 31. Verses 1 through verse 8. Just waiting on Sherm to get his place in his Bible. Psalm 31, verses 1 through verse 8. The Lord, a fortress in adversity, to the chief musician, a psalm of David. David's psalms are always so beautiful. You know, I love David's psalms. In you, O oh Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be my rock and refuge, a fortress of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net which they have securely laid for me. You are my strength. Into your hands I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. I have hated those who regarded useless idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have considered my trouble. You have known my soul in adversities and have not shut me up in the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a wide place. And that'll, that's our psalm for today. And lastly, we'll be doing our Proverbs, just Proverbs chapter 8, verses 1 through verse 11. The excellence of wisdom Does not wisdom cry out, and understanding lift up her voice? She takes her stand on the top of the high hill, beside the way where the paths meet. She cries out by the gates at the entry of the city, at the entrance of the doors. To you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. O oh, you simple ones, understand prudence, and you fools, be of an understanding heart. Listen, for I will speak of excellent things, and from the opening of my lips will come right things, for my mouth will speak truth. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words in my mouth are with righteousness. Nothing crooked or perverse is in them. They are all plain to him who understands, and right to those who find knowledge. Receive my instruction and not silver, and acknowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things one may desire cannot be compared with her. And that's where we'll stop with Proverbs. Okay, brothers and sisters, that was today's Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.